Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I am going to upgrade this Dell quite a lot um, compared to its original configurations or the configurations I, you know, I got it. So what happened is the hard drive in it, which was in there, uh, I found out it was a Seagate or so, which was, I believe, 250 gigs or 500, I don't know. Uh, this was dead or had just some bad sectors. And, uh, yeah, so I put in a spare 120 gig, which is actually that one here. Uh, but, you know, that's a slow hard drive for this computer. It's like a 5400 RPM. And, you know, the space is quite, you know, small for me, what I need on here. So, I got here a nice upgrade. Uh, but not just the hard drive, too, but here, that that's the new one I'm going to put in. It's, uh. Brand new to shit, uh, no, I just re like the ridiculous company names. 500 gigs, 7200 RPM. That's gonna be a big upgrade from this, uh, which I have in here, or well, had in here. The reason why I have this out of here already is because, um, down in our computer shop, we actually, uh, bought this. Um, they have a writer where you just stick in both hard drives and it just clones this one in there. It's just similar to Carbon Copy Cloner or. Super duper, just that you don't need a computer. It's just gonna stick it in, and then it's gonna clone it. So basically, they have the exact same data on them. So I don't know if it works, but it should theoretically. But if not, it's gonna be not really a huge deal. Uh, and the next thing is here I have four a four gig module. What what this had in here was two were two gigs of RAM. Um. So I sold a four, uh, the two gigs taken to and uh, bought a four gig module. This is pretty just the same RAM that my iMac uses, by the way. And uh, why I got the four gig module is because I can stick up in another one. And if I had gotten another two gig module, it would be you know filled up. Uh, I don't really need a lot of RAM on this, but two gigs is a little small, especially for the RAM killer called Windows Seven. But uh, I'm just gonna flip this over. It's so light and small. Oh God! <laughs> I recently had a netbook in, so. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, this has no hard drive and no RAM in it yet. No. <laughs> the moment, right? So the, the the upgradability of this computer is pretty awesome. Uh, you can just flip this out here like this. The screws are gonna be stuck back in here. It's actually a bitch to get back in with all these little things there. Uh, and yes, uh, please, please, I had some really, really, really bad experiences with electricity in computers or monitors or whatever. Just please make sure that. Oh god, I locked it. <laughs> no. Okay. There we go. Just make sure that it's off. And there's no charge in here. I mean, on a laptop, there can't really be a lot of charge. I'm just gonna press the power button just for the fun of it. Okay. Guess I was working on a CRT, and what happened is. Bzzzt. And yeah. That would happen. So, just make sure that it's off or, you know, not plugged in or whatever, it's working on. So, I'm gonna put this 4 gig thing in here. It's gonna put it in the bottom one. If it wants to. It doesn't want to, but I'm not gonna really bother. Yeah, it works just right in here. It's, that's so unfair. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, there's the empty hard drive case, caddy thing, whatever that is. Uh, this is pretty good protected in here against earthquakes and tornadoes and <laughs> well, it's basically a lot safer than just putting the hard drive right in the computer and that's it. Uh, but 
it's definitely annoying to screw. And another one, the best protection have the Lenovo ThinkPads, which have a little rubber uh, sticks, which are like around the hard drive, and just slide it in. It's you can, it has some space to move, and that's pretty awesome. So you can see that's the metal thing. <laughs> Don't know how to call it. So you're gonna put in the, the shit there, right here. I have some screws over there. That's just three, but who cares? Well, I lost one. That's never good. So hopefully my screwdriver is magnetized. Yep, it is. That's awesome. Especially on these little bastards, which never broke in without. Yeah, of course it doesn't work in on camera. Of course not. Oh god, I hate these screws. Let's get them back in here. Okay. Got you, you little. No. God, what am I doing? I can't just put this on the on the computer and screw it in that way because it always just moves around. But I can try. Of course, it's gonna work now. I know that. Yay! See, I did tell you. So we're gonna take this one. You know, I'm gonna not gonna really move around this computer a lot, so you know I could just like put it in that way. So the last one. It's finally in. Really hope I didn't put the wrong side, you know. Okay. There we go. That's uh it's not really it yet, but <clears throat> we can just screw it in. This computer will still take its time to boot up because I have like... Well, this hard drive was nearly filled with my data. So, if it does actually boot, <laughs> it should take a while. So... Ah, crap. Get in here. And if you're asking me, what I will probably get as a comment is, will you put Windows 8 on it? Answer is, no. Uh, Windows 8 is a nice operating system. I, I don't hate it. It's, it's great, but... Uh, I'm, uh, I can't really work on it with this Metro stuff. I mean, I don't really use the Metro stuff on my VM. And so that's why I don't need it. And you know, it's like awesome with the drivers and stuff. But you know, I, as I told you, I, I like use Windows every day. So uh, if it's in school, probably, you know, I use XP and I know XP very well. And 7 is pretty similar to XP with new features and new design. So. It just to make a long story short, I don't like the start menu a lot. If you're used to the old stuff, but it's not bad. I don't like say it's crap. It's useless. It's shit. Uh, yes, I know there are some ways to get the start menu back, but then I just ask myself, why should I actually upgrade to Windows uh, Eight if I already have it in Windows Seven? <laughs> it's like I don't never get this. Right, you know I. I a lot of people just say, yeah, I have Windows 8, yeah, look at me, I have Windows 8, yeah, the latest stuff, yeah, so, just, <laughs> I'm used to these people. So, let's boot that thing up. Oh, there's a CD in there. Get out. Windows XP Pro. Windows Crap P. Well, and my name for it. Which is part patented is micro junk windows shit p profile and now we're booting up into 
Microchunk Windows 7 Pro fail, which does actually work. Yeah, that was a lot faster boot, but you know, that's like a little trolling of Windows, like still not reactive. Oh, it is actually. Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I really hope. Well, it, it seems to be a uh, working RAM stick, so that's important. Uh, <coughs> yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff on here. But that's definitely faster than the older one. Oh, there's a partitions. What the hell? Yeah, okay. Everything clear. What? Four gigs of RAM, perfect. So that thing should actually work. Shut up, messenger. Yeah. Oh my God, I have 187 new mails. Awesome. Yeah, it seems to be working. These stupid partitions still still need to delete. Um. Well, I can leave this one. This is 189 gig. Maybe I'll throw Linux on here. Or even Mac OS 10, but. Macintosh is suck, so probably Linux. Whatever. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the little uh, video. Uh, it's actually quite an upgrade for me in this computer. It's, uh, a lot more space. Shut up, Steam. It's a lot faster now, and uh, definitely more productive with the bigger hard drive space. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.